my name is Toby, and welcome to another Toby Carr Fine Art Drawing Video. Thank you for watching. This video is one of a series discussing charcoal drawing materials. Today I'll be talking about drawing with charcoal powder, powder brushes, and blending tools. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications for my next video. Thank you. So if you're ready, let's get started. So next we have charcoal powder. Um, this is the General's charcoal powder that I'm using. Now be very careful because this stuff gets everywhere. When I'm using this, I will usually decant a very small amount onto a piece of paper like this. And then very importantly, put the lid back on because like I said, this stuff literally goes everywhere. Um, when I'm using charcoal powder, um, I generally use a brush, uh, like this brush. Um, I'll have a small piece of paper to the side of my drawing, and I'll be dipping in, sort of like how you would with a painting, you know, with a, your palette to the side. Um, load up your brush with the charcoal powder. Um, you can tap off your excess, and then so when you go to apply your brush to your paper, you, you know how much powder is on your brush before you start. You don't want to kind of just like dip in and go, okay, let's, oh, too much. Um, charcoal powder is excellent for covering large areas of tone, uh, for creating very soft gradients, and for creating a very smooth and flat uh, area of tone. Um, charcoal powder doesn't have any binders in it, obviously, so um, you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be able to achieve a very dark um, tone with charcoal powder. Um, but it is excellent for creating very smooth edges, um, uh, sorry, very soft edges, very soft edges and soft gradients and very, very, uh, applying very light amounts, uh, areas of tone, but without any line whatsoever. I, I almost, almost use a brush when I'm using charcoal. Um, there are a variety of brushes I use. Um, these two are watercolor brushes. Um, this is a big watercolor wash brush. It's excellent for um, just very, very soft, diffuse blending of the charcoal. Um, so um, if you want to see this in action, um, check out my Sunset Swim video. I create a, um, a very big, soft gradient using this brush. Um, my next uh, brush is a, this is also a watercolor brush, it's a flathead. Um, I think these are both synthetic. Um, you can use synthetic or natural bristle brushes, it doesn't make any difference, just make sure that they're soft. Um, this brush is slightly different in that you can, um, you can cover more area, you will get a darker tone using this brush, and you can actually almost sort of create an edge with it, lines. Like that. Um, all of these brushes will move the charcoal around, but they do it in a slightly unique way. Um, so you have to experiment a little bit and find out which brush is best for each situation. These three brushes aren't watercolor brushes. These are actually makeup brushes that I bought from the dollar store. Um, they're actually designed for using powder, so these are actually um, um, perfectly designed for charcoal powder. Um, they each have a slightly different effect on the powder. Um, generally, the, the bigger the brush like this, it, the better it's going to be for creating a big, soft, diffuse area. And then the smaller the brush, the better it's going to be for getting charcoal into smaller areas and creating um, uh, harder edges. Although you're never really going to get a very hard edge, but that's the whole point of using uh, because powder doesn't have any binders in it, it is very easy to um, um, spread uh, or to erase. Uh, 
here are some blending tools uh, that I like to use occasionally, other than brushes. Uh, these are um, blending stumps. This is one I made myself. Uh, these are both store-bought. Um, also have some Q-tips, as well as um, these, um, these pads. Um, they're very good for just smoothing out the, the uh, charcoal on the paper. Um, these blending stumps do the same job, but this, the, um, you're increasing your um, degree of detail the smaller the blending stump you use. Now, blending stumps are slightly different than Q-tips. Uh, the good thing about Q-tips is that they're disposable. Um, so don't get the plastic ones, get the paper ones. Um, so you can, you can smooth out edges um, without reapplying the charcoal that's on here. Once um, the tip is covered, change it around or get a fresh one. Um, blending stumps tend to accumulate uh, charcoal, um, so you can actually use these as a drawing tool in their own right um, to get edges uh, with the, the stumps, but you can also use it um, to blend at the same time. Uh, there's a slight difference between these two, but both very useful tools. I hope that this video helps you with your own artwork. If you have any questions about this video, drawing in general, suggestions or requests, please leave a comment below. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.